another hot afternoon in Bodrum. Again, I'm on the same spot in the northern coast of the Bodrum Peninsula. I'm on this tiny, tiny little peninsula. I shot the rocks with the waves the other day. Uh, while doing that, I discovered another rocky area just to the right of it. I'm going to try shooting that today because it looks very different than the first one. Totally different rock formations and colors. It's less windy today. There won't be much wave action, but I'm going to go for a calmer uh, water and rock composition. where I want to go right there on the rocks over there and the rocks are brown the other one was black it will it should be interesting I will only be able to see when I go down there Well, here we are. First thing I do is look with my eyes only, without the camera, to see my vantage point. Only then, when I find a spot, I look through the camera. I prefer to look through the viewfinder because it blocks out the rest of the scene. I was afraid the sun would shine from the left. I don't really want the sun's reflection on the water because it's too bright. Uh, so I'm going to have to compensate for that and shoot towards the right. That will affect my composition. This is what I don't want. It's too bright. The specular highlights, there is no detail there. It kind of ruins my composition. So I'm going to have to turn right towards the non-sun area and include the texture of the rocks here. Maybe this little inlet, this rock curve is nice. There's a curve movement here. So I only have to watch for the waves. Sometimes they come, they come too close. Okay, it will be something like this. As I rise higher, I include more rocks. And if I go down low, I include less rocks. 
but less water also. So I think this is a nice height here. Mostly rocks and just enough water and the waves. I think I'm going to set it up here. Yeah, this looks nice. Okay. Nice, it needs to be just a little bit higher. So I'm gonna use the column. Okay, and this needs to be sturdy. All tightened up. I put this rock right in the middle, goes to this little pool and curve there, and the texture rock is the background and the water and the little sky. I'm not putting uh, too much of the sky in the composition because there are no clouds. It's just a blank sky. So there is no need. I will do three exposures again. One very fast to freeze the water movement. And then another one half a second or one second for some uh, smooth water movement with some texture in it. And then one as long as possible to really smooth out the water. I may use one of them or I may use a couple of them and join them in Photoshop and make a final image. I'm going to put on my neutral density filter for the slower shutter exposures. I really like the look of the half a second exposures. The water spray makes really nice lines in the air, like this one. I really like that. Now I need some water here in this area, some water, white water movement. I see the waves coming in. When I see a high wave, tall wave, I uh, wait for the right moment and then I click on the shutter. Coming? Yes. Photography is about patience and being prepared. I could stand here all day waiting for the exact right moment. That was nice. I checked the exposure once in a while because the light changes ever so slightly. Yes, I am far enough so that there is no water spray on the lens and the filter. Okay, I think I have enough half a second once. Now I will go for the long exposure. Okay, this is going to be four seconds. I can go as far as four seconds here. Four seconds is not very long to make it uh, very smooth water. But I think I'll be able to combine several of these four second exposures for a smoother finish on the water. Here I want to shoot where there is not much high waves. I want the low waves. I want, I want a calmer sea. I want a calm water without too much white water in these uh, four second exposures. So I'm waiting for the sea to calm down and then I shoot and then wait again for the waves to pass and then again for the calmer water. With experience, I can guess what the image will look like. I don't even need to see the monitor, the screen on the camera. I'll shoot one of these white water ones just in case. 
I may like it, I may use it. This is what's nice about shooting nature landscape. You never know what's going to happen. There's always a surprise element, which I love. I'm so glad I'm shooting digital. If I was shooting film, like in the old days, after 36 exposures, I need to change rolls, roll after roll, roll after. I wouldn't be able to shoot this, this many. I cannot now fill up my card at all, so I can shoot as my heart wishes. Okay, I think I have enough. I'll pack up now and then head back. After I work on the images, I'll show you the final results. I am hopeful. Still clean. Nice.